My bad, y'all. Can y'all hear me now? <laughs> I said, look at Miss Jan, the first one in the building. The first one in the building. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, y'all. Hello. Give me just a few minutes, y'all. Give me just a few minutes. I'm going to have to stay five minutes old because I was a little late, a little late, a little late. <laughs> Hello, beautifully made. Hello, Miss Lady. Hello, Miss Wilson. Hello, Amaya. Hey, come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Y'all what I'm talking about. Come on up in here. So y'all like my slideshow idea for y'all? I'm making another one for y'all to watch. Did y'all like that slideshow? That was just some of the babies, y'all. I have to go. I'm working on my older babies now um, on the slideshow. But, man, I, it's like I'm going to have to do like, I'm going to have to do like, and it's hard to keep up because I don't want no mommy to feel left out. Be like, why you didn't have my baby up in there? So I don't want nobody to feel left out. So I'm trying to get. I've got so many pictures. Like it's, it's. I gotta go get pictures off my drive. I gotta go get pictures off my cloud. I gotta go get pictures off of Google Photos. Hey, Miss Gina, y'all make sure y'all thumbs up this video. Thumbs up the video. So, wait. Oh, all righty. All righty, all righty, all righty. Where this camera pointing at? Where you pointing at, little camera? Hold on. We got, I should have just this before, but I didn't. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, babies. Oh, wait a minute. You can see my paper down there. You done a little bit too much, TT. Hold on, hold on, get it together, TT. Get it together, TT. All right. I think we got, I should have adjusted this before I came on, but I did it. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Man. Thank you all for coming in on this Sunday evening. Oh, I got to put, look, I got to put some, some stuff on my lips <laughs> all right so miss wilson and miss sanders i want to give you guys a shout out i appreciate you guys being the first to comment on my videos i appreciate you guys showing me some love no love is unnoticed okay um, I appreciate everyone that has been commenting on my videos. And so the thing is, I go grab the first three people and I, I, that is going to be easier for me because when your TT blow up, there's no way I'm going to, I'm not going to even put myself in that, in that situation to say that I'm going to shout out everybody that going to comment on my videos. I'm not going to even do myself like that because I know how I was done over there on Facebook and too many comments and I can't keep up. So. My thing is, I'm going to shout out the first three when I upload a video or when I go live. But I have to snatch y'all when I go live. I got to write it down or I'll forget. Um, Because I ain't figured out how to go back and look at my comments from the live. So <laughs> I need to write that down right now before y'all get to yeah, um, too many comments. So the, the thing is, the first three to comment on my videos or my lives when I go live or post a video. I'm gonna give y'all a shout out cause TT love y'all and I TT appreciate you guys coming in the building. Miss Jan was the first one to walk up in here. And then we have beautifully made. Oh, that, that see how y'all all gonna be 704. But I'm going to go with the first one and then this lady. So you guys will be shot out on my next video 
or a video. Y'all be shout out. <laughs> okay, okay. So how y'all doing this Sunday evening? How was y'all doing? This is not core water now because I'm, I'm I don't refill my water, but I did have the core water and it's amazing. It's awesome, you guys. But look how I love how this label is. I love the little blue top. So uh, this is my refill bottle for right now. But I got me some just regular water in here now. So on this video, while I'm painting, Miss Wilson, Miss Wilson, Miss Wilson, thank you so much. You are the only one that asked me questions. I guess then nobody else want to know nothing. So if y'all do got some questions, go on and drop them in the comments below. But Ms. Wilson is the only one that actually went to my video and put her questions in. I was trying to make it easier for you guys because um, a lot of you don't know how to get to the community tab. So I had made a Q&A video to where you guys would go and put your questions. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be answering Ms. Wilson's questions. She has some really good questions too, y'all. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I'm gonna need you over here. All right. Let me make sure I said hi to everybody. Okay. Amaya. I said hi to you, Amaya. <laughs> You know the baby with the black mark on her tummy. She is the Joseph of Sleep kit. Good afternoon, Thomas. Welcome, welcome. Thank you and doing great watching American Idol, watching you, watching you two come live. Oh, well, I thank you. <laughs> we call that the best of both worlds. The best of both worlds. Um, all right, y'all. I gotta set myself back up because I was rooting. So now we're gonna be back to painting. Back to back to back to back to back to back. What? <sighs> so All right. I think we got it. Do we got everything, little baby? Hmm. What did I get on my hands? What did I get on my hands, little baby? I don't know, TT. I don't know, TT. All right. All right. Okay. So we're going to go with the... um. I don't know what I got on my hands. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, look. It just seemed like it's... I ain't got enough light, and I know there's some light up in here. All righty. All righty. All righty. All righty now. <laughs> All right. So the first question was if someone told you a price they wanted to stay within, would you recommend a kit and the hair details you can do if within the price range you charge? Okay. Um, Ms. Wilson, if it's within the price range I charge, it depends. It depends because the reason why I say it depends is because if it's in the price range that I would charge for a custom, then yes, I would, I would, um, let me see. Would you recommend a kit and hair details? Hold on. If someone told you a price they wanted to stay within, would you recommend a kit and hair details you can do if it's within a price you would charge. Okay, so I'm going to give an example. My prices start 800 and up. So if you tell me you have 800, 
I'm gonna, I will recommend that you go look for a bountiful baby kit that is between 19 and 21 inches that I will be willing to do in that price range. Um, if you tell me that you want some, I would tell you, I would, I would recommend what kind of hair I would use. Yes, I would recommend what kind of hair I would use in that price range. But if you tell me that you want some long ponytails, it ain't going to happen. And the reason why I say it's not going to happen because that's going to be a small newborn. Long hair takes longer for me to root. Long hair is more expensive. You guys know if you guys buy your wigs or your weave or your tracks, long hair costs more. So, um, yes, I would recommend the hair that I would use in that price range. Um, but I wouldn't recommend a kit. I would just tell you what kits that I would do in that price range. The reason why I wouldn't recommend a kit is because you have, you have to pick out a kit that you like. If you're getting a surprise baby from me, then I pick the kit. But other than that, you will have to pick out a kit that you like. Um, I want one, please. Yes or no. And if, if you say no, I will be like this. If you say yes, I will be like this. Okay. Amaya, um, you're doing this a little bit too often, sweetie. I've been, I've been trying to be nice about it. I told you yesterday and the day before and the day before. So if you ask one more time, I'm going to have to block you from my page. Okay. Because now you're starting to spam. Hey, um, drop for life more. Hello, Miss Bryant. Oh, I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better. These are some uh, magnifying glasses because I need these to be able to look up in this mouth. Y'all need a little bit of mouth right here. I got to get up in there and get, up, get them teethuses. I got to get in there so I can get them teethuses. So this is what my magnifying glasses are for so I can see. So I can see y'all. <laughs> All righty. Can you see, TT? I was trying, little baby. I was trying. Mm. All right. I'm going to get to the next question in just a minute. But you guys got any questions, go ahead and drop them below. And Ms. Wilson, I appreciate you going and putting some questions down. Because like I say, now you gave me something to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you did. Say, yes, you did, TT. Hold on. Thank you, Ms. Bryant. I'm working on two, um, two of her. And then this baby got teeth too. The other baby head in the oven. This baby got four teeth, y'all. Look at them teethuses. I've done a little bit on there, but I'm gonna have to do some more. Look at them teethuses. And this baby got dimples. This baby got dimples. <laughs> yes, yes. All righty. Say, I got dimples. Okay. Oh, everybody asked this question. <laughs> How did you get into reborning? All righty. How I got into reborning. Okay, we're going to start at the beginning. We're going to, because that way I have something to talk about. We're going to start at the beginning, and then I think next time I'm going to have to start referring people. I need you to go to that video because it's a long story, long story, long story. All right, so how I got into reborning. Okay, in 2000 and nine we're gonna because it you won't understand it unless i tell the whole story because it's easy for me to say what i always say and i make the short version i was looking for a baby to model my products da -da 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 -da. but it never really i never really broke it down and got into how i even ended up being a, i guess you will call it an entrepreneur <laughs> i guess that's what they're gonna call it okay so in 2009, my daughter was nine, nine, no, she was, she was, no, she was eight at the time, because it was two, it was 
February the 21st, 2009, a day before her ninth birthday. Okay, I'm at work, I'm at work, and I always check on my kids while I'm at work on my break. So I called, and um, Nisha was like, Mama, my leg hurt. And y'all know me, I'm thinking, okay, they over there, they over there rough, rough playing. Go on and go suck your leg, and I'm going to look at it when I get home. She was like, okay. So I called back on my next break, and she was like, Mama, my leg still hurt. I'm like, did you soak it? She's like, yeah. I was like, well, I'm going to check it. I'll check it when I get, get home. So when I get home, hold on, girl. When I get home, um, she was still complaining about her leg, but she wasn't crying or anything. But something, something, I don't know, it was just heavy on my heart. Hello, ice cream baby. It was just heavy on my heart to take her to the emergency room. I don't know why. It was just heavy. It was like, uh uh, I need to just go on and take her. So that's what I did. Um, in Oklahoma, we have a children's hospital and we have a hospital where anyone can go. So we went to the hospital that anyone can go. Okay, so um they um and she was walking with a limp, but I really didn't notice the limp. But she was walking with a limp too. Um, so that's one of the signs too. Okay, so they was like they was touching her leg. And they was like, do this hurt? And she jumped. She jumped and they was like, okay, well, we're going to get an x-ray, you know, make sure she ain't got nothing broke or anything. Um, Make sure she don't have anything broke. Okay, so fast forward, they took x-rays and they, they um, my auntie was, was, my auntie was with me at the time. They took x-rays and then they was like, um, y'all know I watch TV, right? Y'all know I watch TV. And you know, on TV, they take you back to this, um, to a little room. So they was like, is it okay if we take you to the consultant room or whatever they said? And I'm like, sure. And then my auntie got up to come with me. And they was like, well, you might want to hear this by yourself. I'm like, no, she could come. She could come. So um, we go fast forward. We goes in there and they was like, we think your daughter may have um, a tumor, but we can't confirm that she will have to go and have further testing. So they was like, they transported us over to um, Children's Hospital. The next day she had a biopsy and then it confirmed that she had cancer and it's called osteosarcoma and she had it of the right femur. Okay, so fast forward in Oklahoma, I was working at the time in Oklahoma because they do not specialize in the kind of cancer that she has, a parent or a guardian or someone over 18 has to be with your child the whole time while they're in the hospital getting chemotherapy. And the chemotherapy that Rainisha was getting, every time she gets it, she has to be admitted in the hospital. So our schedule was four days in the hospital, out three, five days in the hospital, out two, four days in the hospital. And this is the rotation that goes on for nine months. The days that she's out of the hospital, if she gets a cold or gets sick, she's admitted back into the hospital. So basically, we spent out of 30 days, 20 something days that, that we already had our admit dates that she go check in and she's admitted in a hospital. Okay, so with my job, if you guys understand what FMLA is, I had FMLA for myself, but I didn't have it for my daughter. So I would just take my FMLA because I didn't have nobody to sit up there with her while she get the chemotherapy. Okay, my oldest son wasn't 18 at the time. Okay, so fast forward, her father was like, you need to bring her to St. Louis. They specialize in the kind of cancer that she has. So we, um, her doctors transferred her to Missouri. So we end up moving and, I, and I'm still calling in my FMLA. So finally, all my vacation time, because they'll pull your money from your vacation um, when you call in FMLA. So finally, my vacation... Yeah, my vacation ran out. So then they tried firing me. I'm like, okay. So they end up firing me. So I drew my unemployment. I had to fight for my unemployment because they pretty much basically said I abandoned my job, which I didn't abandon my job. I constantly called in 
I constantly let me let me work on the ledge while I'm talking. <laughs> I constantly called in every day that I was scheduled to work. We'll come back to the mouth. Okay, so um constantly called in every day. So fast forward, I end up winning. I had to appeal them because they was trying to keep me from being able to get my unemployment. So I appealed it and I won it, won my case for family medical. Um family medical something that's how i end up getting my unemployment okay so fast forward unemployment finally runs out y'all but i'm still going back and forth to the hospital um she still has to be admitted and stuff like that so it was hard for me to find a job the job that i did have and i'm i'm appreciative appreciative of it was through my friend and i was working at her um at her store she would let me work part-time two days a week, but y'all know unemployment working two days a week. That was not enough to pretty much pay for anything to keep a place or anything. So fast forward, fast forward. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all the whole story because we'll be here for hours. So fast forward. Um, I met Gary. Nisha was done with her chemo. I met Gary and me and Gary start talking and I was still receiving my unemployment at the time. I was in my own place at the time, but I was um, I was looking for another place because I couldn't keep up with the rent, and I couldn't keep up with the rent because basically I was only getting unemployment. So um, I end up my boys end up going to um, I end up putting my boys in a shelter that helps because they were teenagers then. I end up putting them in a shelter to where if they follow the steps, they transition. It's called transitional housing for teens. They'll transition over to um, an apartment. So I end up doing that and I end up, me and Nisha end up going to stay with Gary. Okay, so in the midst of that, I'm taking her back and forth to the hospital, doing this, going to go see my boys three times a week at the place that they were in. And then fast forward, me, Gary, all the kids end up moving back together in a house. We end up moving in a house and I'm still getting unemployment at this time. But I'm that type of person that even if you, my man, um, I know this may sound wrong, but I felt that this is before me and him got married. Those are my kids. You know, he didn't have them kids and I didn't feel that he should take on the responsibility of me and my three kids. That's just how I felt. So I'm like, dang, what can I do? My unemployment was about to run out. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? So I was like, I'll go get a job if you need me to go get a job. I don't mind going to go get a job. He was like, no, you don't have to go get a job. What else can you do? I'm like, um, I don't know. So I just start just looking online and I'm like, work from home. What can you do for work from home? I don't know how I end up coming across people making hair bows and stuff. But I'm like, uh, I could probably do that. So fast forward, I end up making, um, I end up making hair bows, kids jewelry, um, tutus and stuff like that to get some income coming in the house. And it went pretty good, but that, that market is so saturated that it was, it was hard to like really, really do good. So I was like, you know what? I need, I need to uh, find me a, a lifelike baby to model my products because I couldn't afford to get no baby model. And you know, when you see a product on a baby, you know, I'll be looking at all these websites and they be having a little babies, have hair balls and all that stuff on of the product, what it looked like, the clothes. And I'm like, maybe my sales would pick up if I get, um, get a baby but i couldn't afford a baby so i end up looking for i put in lifelike doll i put in lifelike doll i end up um getting this burgeoner doll they had reborn baby doll as the tag um it said lifelike reborn doll that's exactly what it said so i'm i got it because it was cute but when i got it in the mail it was too small it was not what I expected. And I'm like, okay, I remember that it had the tag reborn baby doll. 
So um, I went back and I typed in Reborn Baby Doll this time. And baby, when I tell y'all, I came across these Reborn Dolls. Woo, hold on. <laughs> I was in a whole nother world. Okay, so I came across um, I came across uh, an artist and I couldn't afford her baby at the time. So I start, what I did, I start joining reborn dog groups, learning more about the reborn babies. It's a whole community, a whole community of collectors. I start joining groups, learning as much information as I can. I was like, you know what, what can I, I want to try it. I'm going to try to make my own. And I start doing research. I start, um, I start um, seeing what all I needed in order to reborn a baby doll. Okay, so uh, this was this was um, over four years ago. So at the time, it was it was it, no Bonneville baby. They sold starter kits, starter kits. And what I did, I went down and wrote everything that was in that starter kit. And every month that I would, every month that I would sell a hairball or a tutu or whatever, I would get something that I needed so that I can collect everything that I need to make a reborn baby. Now, I remind you at the time, Gary was paying, he was forking everything. He was forking everything. And I took my little unemployment check and that would be our, um, that would be our money for, to get groceries. And he covered everything else. Okay, so um, so once I got everything, I did this for a couple of months. Once I got everything, I tried to make a baby. <laughs> I tried to make a baby. And once I finished the baby, I post the baby in a reborn dog group. What's wrong, Nish? And um, I was like, I post the baby in a reborn dog group. And I was like, what's your opinions? Tell me what you think, guys. This is the first baby, blah, blah, blah. Someone took interest in that baby um, and asked me what I sell it. And I'm like, well, I'm a new artist and I'm learning. This is the first baby I painted, da, 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 da. And they was like, that's fine. They was like, all you got to do is say it's a boo-boo baby. And I'm like, okay, so I end up selling the first baby I painted as a boo-boo baby. A boo-boo baby is a baby that is not up to the artist standards. Or if you're new and you're if you're new and you're letting your your mommies know, I call mine mommies. I don't say customers. I just I just don't. I call my they're my customers, but to me, they're not customers, they're my mommies. So um she was just like, you just make sure that you tell everybody that you're new, da, 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 da. And she was like, your rooting is amazing. And y'all, my rooting was not all that back then. I, but when I look at my pictures from period. now, period, when I look at my pictures from now, and then I go back and look at my work in the beginning, I see, I'm like, uh-uh, that was, that was just terrible. But someone took interest in her was that the baby was too dark. So I was trying to make the baby light, but I ended up making the baby too dark. So um, I end up doing it again. The baby still, I don't know what it was back then, but the baby, they was just coming out dark. So I end up posting the baby again, asking people what they thought. Somebody took interest in that baby. So I end up selling that baby also as a boo-boo baby. Now, remind you back then, the, and it was a, it was a big baby. It was a toddler. I was selling them for you know five six hundred dollars. You know back then. So um, <laughs> so I'm like okay. I did get a joy out of painting, and so I'm like you know what? You let me. I want to be a reborn artist. I want to be a reborn artist. <laughs> so um, so what happened was the first six months. Everybody was contacting me wanting their babies rooted. Rooted is where you install the hair. So for the first six months, I wasn't even painting babies. I was rooting, 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 
Rudy, Rudy, and Rudy. So um, I'm like, I don't want to be known as a rooter. I want to paint the babies, make the babies, complete the babies. I want to be a reborn artist. That's what I wanted to be because I got a joy out of painting. I got a joy out of rooting and etc. So I stopped taking rooting orders. Okay. So what helped me, I believe what helped me was my rooting because what I did, what I did, I, I made a special. I posted a special on my page. I posted a special. I explained I am a new artist. Um, this is why my prices is this way. Um, I am taking orders, etc., and all that. And everybody wanted a baby. Like everybody wanted a baby done. So, like for the next year and a half, for the next year and a half, all I did was customs. All I did was customs. All I did was customs. And TT was starting to get burnt out on customs. The customs, now remind y'all, I'm still only charging $600 for a toddler. Like, I wasn't even making any money because everything that I was doing, everything that I was purchasing, it took up that $600. So, um, so, um, I think the following year I start going up on my prices and then, um, I would say the last year and a half from current today. No, let me fast forward. The last year. No, because I just started back taking customs. Um, however, however it was, y'all, because I can't, I'm old. I can't remember. But I know that I stopped taking questions. I mean, stop taking questions. I stopped taking customs. And because I couldn't grow as an artist trying to trying to paint a baby in someone else's vision is the hardest thing in this world to do don't get me wrong mommies i appreciate every one of y'all because if it wasn't for you guys i would not be here today but that is the hardest thing to do is try to paint something that someone else vision that's the hardest thing to do. It's the hardest thing to do. Um, so I end up, I end up um, taking a break from customs. And what I did, I made a post on my page. And at that time, I think I was about two to three years reborning. I made a post on my page. I ran a special. The special said that I get to pick the kit. I get to pick all the details. It was called a surprise baby. I get to pick out all the details on the baby. I didn't know it was going to do so well because it's hard to get people to buy something from you and not even know what that product is going to look like until that, till that product yeah, make it yeah. home. So um, that's what I did. And that's what I've been doing ever since. Um, I'm thankful. I'm grateful. Because like I said, people like my work to the point that they don't care if the baby, what the baby look like or what kid I do. They just want to, they just want a baby from me. So I'm so grateful for that. Um, so that's how I end up getting into, um, into reborn. But I do do customs now, but I don't get too many custom orders because my custom pricing is higher than my regular pricing because it's just too much work that's involved in doing a custom. All right, so I don't talk y'all ears off. Let me go back and see what y'all was saying. <laughs> Look, can you try to put my foot in the camera? <laughs> um, if a customer has five fifty wants a baby from Bountiful Baby Bald, but they want the baby detailed in their vision, I wouldn't make that baby. Um, I wouldn't make that baby. I would advise them to look for artists that can um make that baby in their vision now if i was to do it in my vision i would do a bald baby a bountiful baby bald baby that is 19 to 21 inches i would do bald for 550 
only if it's in my vision. <laughs> Amaya, don't be like that, sweetie. You can still talk to me, Amaya. But yes, I would do a bald one in my vision. Um, uh, But it'll be a kit that's 19 to 21 inches. Oh, you said in my vision. Yes, I would do one in my vision. What, so you can root it, Miss Lady. <laughs> but you know, I got my special going on, and that's for a kit that's 19 to 21 inches, and that's 650 with rooted hair. Um, and that's a bottle for baby kit. Okay, so we answered how did you get into reborning? Do you guys have any questions before I go on to the um to the next question? I hope I didn't bore you guys. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I end up getting into it. And my daughter, you know, she say stuff like, you know, I'm sorry you had to lose your job and, you know, stuff like that. I'm like, right, Nisha, if it don't, don't get me wrong. And I ain't trying to say this the wrong way, but if she never got sick, I probably would never be doing what I'm doing because I had to figure out what I can do to make some kind of income and still be there to take care of my sick child. You know, so like I tell her, you know, you my baby, you rocks. Mommy love you. Mommy going to do whatever she got to do. And at the same time, I'm going to do what I got to do to take care of my children. So. <laughs> okay, you guys don't have no questions before I uh did I grab everybody question? I think I did before I move on to the next question. Miss Wilson, did I break it down good enough for you, sweetie? <laughs> you still in here, Miss Wilson? Did I break it down? Wait a minute. I was supposed to move this to the side because y'all didn't like that that way. I guess it defaults to that way. Do it. I think it def theme. Let me see. Okay, now now a bit. Okay, okay. It's all on God's plan and you got a blessing out of it. I did. I did. I got several blessings out of it, Miss McCarter. Miss McCarter, I did. I am very, very, very grateful. Can you see? Can you see my? Can you see my PI? Oh, yes. I can't see. It looked like, is that love buggy? I can't see. Um, I see a picture. Uh oh, that look like love. Is that love buggy? I do see that you got a picture in there. Okay. So the next question is, how did your family react to you reborning? Well, family. <laughs> um... I'm just now getting to know my auntie and all of them. So my auntie, you know, she's, she asks questions. She really don't have anything negative to say, but my family is me, my kids and, um, my husband, his family now, um, Tiara and Marvell and his brothers and sisters. So no one really had, anything negative to say um if they did have something negative to say i probably wouldn't care because that's just the type of person i am because at the end of the day i do what makes me happy i don't care what anybody else um say or do now when it comes to when it comes to gary gary is okay with what i do um He'll interact with me when it comes to the reborns. 
because it's something that I like doing. It's it's my hobby. It's my hobby. Also, I'm a reborn artist. So, you know, he supports what I do. I may not like that he likes to watch um, games, but if he want to go to a football game, I'm going to go and support what he do. So when you got somebody that truly supports what you do, then they may have something negative to say, but they're not going to tell you. They're going to, they may not agree with it, but they're going to support what you do. My thing is, if I'm dealing with somebody that don't support what I do, and when I say support what I do, I'm not saying, oh, get out here and kiss all on the baby. And I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying, they support what you do by not belittling you, not telling you why this, why that, why are you doing this, why are you doing that? Um, that's what I mean by they may not agree with what you're doing. They may not understand what you're doing, but they can be there for you out of love for you. Um, Cause at the end of the day, if you got a significant other and you guys are together, y'all don't like everything each other do, but you have to compromise to make it work. You got to compromise to make it work. If you can't compromise, it's not going to work. Because you're not going to like everything. If somebody tell you they like everything that they significant other do, they lie. You know, so that's where you got to come and compromise. So I, I wouldn't be dealing with nobody that didn't like what I do, regardless of what I'm doing. If I want to sit and play a video game all day, well, I could see them probably say, <laughs> I could see them maybe saying something like, uh, boo, you might need to go get a job and not just play games all day. I could see something like that, but you talking about why you playing on this dang on game all day? You know, that's belittling somebody. And it's a, it's a way to um, it's a way that you can talk to someone without um, without belittling them. I hope I explained that right, but I pretty much won't deal with anyone that don't support what I do. Now. <laughs> My uh now my boys they don't um they just say oh they're cute oh they look real but they never really said like um they never really said anything like negative or anything um y'all good up in here oh that's Yannick Yannick in the picture oh <laughs> We talking about you, girl. We talking about you, girl. We talking about you, girl. This the Yannick kit, y'all. That's the Yannick kit. Say yes, hi. Say hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> um. Okay. So we are gonna go to the next question. What's the difference between a jointed and non-jointed reborn? Okay, so to do this question, mm, mm, mm. let me see. Okay, a jointed, come here, fat girl. Okay, a jointed uh, body, hold on. <laughs> you bet not, uh... <laughs> Hold on, fat girl. Okay. A jointed body has, um, I need to change her clothes anyway, because we got to do a video. Hold on, fat girl. Okay. All right. So a jointed... Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so a jointed body does this. 
the leg can basically turn all the way around. Um, on the, the babies that have a full, she's got three, four limbs. So the babies that have full limbs, it'd be about that much of the cloth out like that. And the basically the leg can spin all the way around. That's the difference with a jointed body. A non-jointed body, uh, a non-jointed body, I'm going to have to refer you, Miss Wilson, to my video, my live where I put Gertie and Saskia together. They are put in a non-jointed body. So basically, they're, they're, it don't have this part. Their legs can still twist, but it won't move as freely as this. It won't move freely like I can take her leg and turn it all the way around in a circle. So that's the difference with the um, jointed and non-jointed, non-jointed bodies. Uh-oh. You all right? You good, girl? <laughs> Have you ever taken a reborn with you shopping? Yes, we've done been to Target. We've done been to... Six flags. We've been, we've been, um, oh, I'm still got the camera on me, y'all. Ha! Tim, I, Tim, I. <laughs> Showing too much, TT. Showing too much. I know, right? I, um, we done been several places. Um, I, I, it was a learning experience. I know next time. When I take my babies with me out in public, especially to a large place, I need to cover my babies up because when I took my babies to um, Six Flags, and we probably got videos floating all over YouTube, ain't no telling. When I say we got bomb, bomb rushed, and I believe you guys on Facebook was live with me at the time. I had to actually end my live because it was just crazy. Um, and it's like, like I say, I am a reborn artist, but when I go out with my, when I go out with my babies, I'm not a reborn artist at that time. I am a reborn mommy because I collect them. I'm into them also. So I felt some type of way because everybody just pulled out their phones, want to take pictures, wanting to touch and even ask, you know, and it was like, we had a crowd. We're trying to get out the door. And we got a crowd of people, um, a crowd of people where we can't even get out the door. We trying to get home. So I know now when I'm in a big place like that, I'm going to cover my babies up because it was very uncomfortable. I don't mind showing the babies, but don't put your hands on my babies. I'm sorry. Now, I know they're reborn, but that they a work of art. They a work of art. And it took me forever to reborn them. And I don't need your oils transferring on to my work that I did and I gotta try to fix it you know so um but yeah I, they do go out they do go out in public with us um most of the time though it's her most of the time it's Raven Raven is the one I tend to um tend to draw to when um I go out in public Oh, they've been to the zoo, too. We've been to the zoo. Like I said, I have videos on my Facebook where I went live. We were at the zoo. We went several places. I have I have noticed some kids say full girl torso, full, bo full boy torso. Do you paint those type of kits? I do paint those type of kits. Do you, rem do you recommend those type of kits? Do those kits require more care than a cloth body kit? Miss Wilson. Um, when you say require more care, okay, the, the, the reborn baby dolls, and I say this all the time. I constantly say this. I constantly say this. I constantly say this. They are collectibles. What people choose to do with them after they 
get them, it's totally up to them. Once they leave, and they once they leave my house, I have no say so in whatever whoever does with the reborn baby dolls. But I stress this that they are collectibles because. The stuff that goes on in the reborn community can and will damage your doll over time. Okay. So as far as the, as far, if they're done the correct way, they will be displayed like this. They are collectibles and to do just regular maintenance on them every six months. If you don't have them like in a glass case, you want to make sure you get the dust off. You want to comb the hair through. And, um, you know, wash it if it's too dusty. But you shouldn't have, it's, some of my babies been in my nursery three years and I still ain't washed their hair. But if you're not overdoing what you're supposed to be doing with the reborn babies, there's, there's really not much care that you have to do to them. Um, but if you do what, if you do what everybody else do, you want to be careful. You want to make sure that when you're changing them, you're pulling the shirt so that it's not touching the face when you take the shirt over the head. Because on, on the reborn baby dolls, the ears, the ears, the nose, the mouth are the first places to lose paint and the fingers. And the reason this is, is because we're going to act like this is a shirt. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to do it on this blank kit since it don't have no. We're going to act like this is a shirt. So if you're taking the shirt over that, what are you doing? You're, you're, that's friction. That's friction that's going over. So if you're doing this constantly over time, it's going to start that, that last layer that the reborn artists have on is going to start deteriorating. And then over time, that work that that artist done put into that reborn baby doll is eventually going to start messing up. Um, that's just like if you take a cup of water, you set it on a wood dresser, even though this dresser is advertised, it will last forever. It will last forever if it's being done properly. We know we ain't supposed to put no wet cup on our dresser, but we do it. And what happens over time? That, that water that evaporation from the water starts breaking down that layer that they have to protect over that wood. And eventually you just got a, a circle on your, on your desk, on your, whatever wood you got that won't go away. And that's the same with the reborn baby dolls. Um, um, what else I was going to say, you just have to be, you just have to be careful when it comes to, Oh, just this, it's, it's a work of art. You just got to be careful. You got to be careful with them. They, they're they delicate. You have to be careful with them. Um, vinyl babies, if you're, if, you, if you're a reborn mommy that wants to cuddle, a vinyl baby that's complete vinyl will not work for you. They are, um, their whole body is vinyl. And, and to be honest, a reborn baby wouldn't work for you either if you want to be a cuddle mommy. That's just my opinion. I think if you want to cuddle with the baby, sleep with the baby, it's best to get a um, cuddle a cuddle baby. They have a cuddle baby, which the body is all cloth, and then you have the, the vinyl head. That's the best thing to cuddle with if you're wanting to sleep with the reborn baby is to get you a cuddle baby. Um, but what was the question? <laughs> I wouldn't say they require more care because like I say, if the, if the vinyl, if the whole vinyl baby is covered in clothes, like what, what, um, I wouldn't say they require more care. Um, be honest with you. I don't like a full vinyl baby. It's just, they're, they're, they're hard to pose. They're stiff. <laughs> I, I don't like them. I paint them. I, I will paint them. Like, um, um, they just hard to, the whole vinyl, the whole full vinyl baby, they're just hard to pose. That's why I don't like them. They be cute, but they be too hard for me to pose. And you know, I got to pose for pictures. 
I'm painting three babies right now. I'm painting um, Maya. I'm painting two uh, two Allens, and this is a Maya. I mean, no, this is Maya. I'm painting Maya and um, two of her, two Allens. All right, those are all the questions. I hope I answered them for you. If you don't understand, Miss Wilson, drop me some questions. I'm looking at the comment screen. Y'all got some questions? Drop them below. It's all right. Am I, it's all right, Am I, Amaya. It's okay, sweetie. What? Yeah, that's right, Miss Lady Watering. And see, my thing is, I look at it like this. I'm a collector too, right? And y'all know I've been talking about I want 100 babies in my nursery. I've been talking about that for the longest, but it ain't never happened. <laughs> I paint the babies, and I still don't have the time to do my nursery. But trust and believe, if I can get, my goal was to have 100 reborn babies. And the reason why I wanted 100 reborn babies is that way, if I change one baby every week, by the time I get to that first baby, a year done would a year would have passed, and I wouldn't be doing the most. You know, I would still have that reborn baby to change every week, and I wouldn't be doing the most as far as the wear and tear on the reborn baby. So that was my goal to get to have a hundred reborns, but uh, that didn't happen. <laughs> You did a wonderful job of answering my questions. Y'all have any more questions? Drop them. Drop them. Drop them. I try to answer the best way I can, but I also try to. I y'all y'all when I when I answer questions, y'all gotta realize this is also my business, so I have to protect my business. So I can't be oh these are play dolls because they're not. You know what I'm saying? They're not play dolls. They're not. They're not. Um, they're not toys. So. I have to, when I be responding to you guys, I have to protect my business because if somebody go out here and purchase one of these for their kid, I'm not responsible for that because they're not toys. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I answer the way that I answer because they're not toys. They are collectibles. They are not toys. And you talk, like, there'd be people on my comments on when them, them videos that be getting a lot of views, these ain't no good item for no no uh kid. They're not for kids. They're not for kids, and that means that you didn't go read the description in none of my videos because if you did, you would have seen that they're not for kids. But you know, I just gotta protect. This is my business name. I gotta protect it. They are not toys. They are not for kids. They are collectibles. There's a whole community of people that collect reborn babies. It's a hobby for them. Just like uh, cars are hobbies for men. Um, hats, certain shoes. <laughs> you, go, you gonna get there where, where I'm going. How was your day? Hey, Miss Harris. It was good. It was good. It was wonderful. Now, don't get me wrong. I have a bunch of mommies that have got reborn babies for their, for their you know, young daughters. But that's up to the mommy's discretion. I have nothing to do with that. How did you get into reborn sculpting or building? And how did you learn? I did. I don't sculpt the kids. Um, I can't pronounce your name. I'm just going to say T-R-A-M-I-Y-A-H. I don't sculpt them. I buy, they're already sculpted. They're, the, the, they're called sculptures. The sculptures do this part. I buy them blank like this. And then I do everything past this point. So it already come with the shape of the face, the shape of the hands, the shape of the arms and legs. 
So what I do, I bring this kit to life. I make this this baby look as lifelike as possible. See, right now, it's got no paint. It's got nothing. It's just a blank kit. And um, shout out to the sculptures because if it wasn't for them, us reborn artists wouldn't be able to do what we do. And that's a, it's amazing how you can take, you can make a shape. You know, that that's amazing. And a lot of the people, a lot of the sculptors that make the babies are doing them from somebody that they know or, you know, or their or their um, kid or somebody in their family to sit up there and just be able, I can't do that part. I ain't got it like that. I wish I did because I'd be really making, if I was able to sculpt the baby, turn the baby into silicone, silicone form, <laughs> you think people talk about my prices now, baby, if I was able to take a picture mold a baby and put that baby into silicone form i'm starting 10 g's off top just to even do it you know what i'm saying that ain't including painting i wish i did have that kind of talent i've always said i was gonna try to mold me a baby but i ain't did it yet because i if i mold a baby that baby would be fat and chunky fat and chunky i think i can mold the hands I think I can mold the toes. I think the part that would be hard for me would be the face, would be the shaping of the face. Are they safe for kids? Because my 12 year old had one. They're not intended for kids, Miss Taylor. They are for adults. They are collectibles. So no, they're not safe for kids. And I say that because they're not intended for kids. My uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, I mean, just say an eye pop out, you know what I'm saying? Say an eye pop out, and they eat the eye, they could possibly choke. You get what I'm saying? Or say an earring come out, or say they chewing on the hair, say they're chewing on the hair, and they get some caught in their throat. That's why I say they're not intended for children. They're not made for children. They're not toys. They are for adults because they are collectibles. So we may not sit here and think of stuff like that, but I know it's possible. You know, you can say, say your kid, you got a two-year-old or a three-year-old, grab the baby by the hair and then put the baby hair in the mouth and then <coughs> the baby choke. You know what I'm saying? You ain't holding me responsible for that because they're not intended for kids. They are for adults. They are collectibles. Hey, Miss Carter Eats. <laughs> so, no, they're not intended for children. But like I say, I do have mommies that get them for their children. And that's at you guys' discretion. Just know that some happen. TT ain't responsible because they're not for children. They're not toys. And we don't look at little stuff like that. Even when we buy... Even when we buy stuff in the store, when you buy toys in the store, it'll, if you read the small print, hey, Miss Candy Girl, y'all going to start looking at the small print on some of these toys. And they'll let you know they ain't held responsible. That's why they put ages on the toys. They put, if you, if yo, if it says for three and up and you go get that toy and give it to your two-year-old and your two-year-old choke off that toy Guess what? That company ain't held responsible. <laughs> Doing good. Sorry, kids got me moving, moving in their tub. Aw. <laughs> I know they having fun. You got some beautiful children. Y'all got you got some beautiful children. Now, you guys, my woo 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 babies. Y'all remember I told y'all I shared um shared her out on my page. She's very, very, very inspirational, y'all. Y'all go check her out. I'm telling you, y'all will have a good time over there because I know I'll be having a good time when I'm over there. And y'all know your TT ain't going to tell y'all nothing wrong. I ain't going to tell y'all nothing wrong. <clears throat> Man. May my daughter won. May my daughter one, let me turn this camera up so y'all can see, hold on. May my daughter one, two years ago, 
Christmas, but she's 12 now and she's more into her cell phone and laptop than her doll. I pay, I pay more attention her now and TT, you know how many I have. I do know how many you have, but my thing is miss lady. If my daughter, if my daughter, if my daughter was into, cause they're, they, the teenagers are drawn to the reborn baby dolls. They're drawn to it. And if I had, if my teenager was drawn to it, hold on y'all. If my teenager was drawn to it, right? Um, I would get it, but I would display it in a case, if that makes any sense. Because I would want that to be something that, um, I guess by me doing stuff by hand, I understand, um, how can I put this? I guess because I do stuff by hand, I understand what all goes into making them because y'all know i still got to do Rainisha's. Rainisha's reborn reborn baby that i do y'all i already got the eyes um i just ain't we haven't figured out what kit to do she's gonna be she's gonna have rainbow eyes she's gonna have um a tattoo well not a tattoo but yeah, but something like a tattoo it's gonna have her her date that she was diagnosed her um last day of chemotherapy when well not the last day of chemotherapy but when she rung it's going to have the date when she rung that bell somewhere on the baby it's going to have a yellow ribbon because that's her um cancer awareness ribbon and that baby going in a display case you know it's going to go in a display case because that's i mean it's got it's got meaning it's a work of art and it's a collectible um but You say you understand. So if I if it was me, you know, or sitting the baby on the bed, it don't hurt to sit the baby on the bed. But like I say, you have some kids out here, they so mature for their age. If yeah, it's it's at the own parents' discretion, really. Everyone knows how their kids are. They know if their kid is gonna um, you know, they know if their kid is gonna be able to handle having a reborn or not, or if they're gonna take care of it, to take take care of it. As I kid you not, this was years ago though. I had, and the and the and the person was honest. She was like, I gave my I got the reborn baby for my grandbaby. My grandbaby drugged the baby by the hair across the floor. The grandbaby was combing the baby hair. Now remind you, this baby, the, the grandbaby was only five, Marvel H. Tangled the hair up, okay, etc. She asked me, she asked me, um, did I have a warranty on my babies? Like I tell everybody, there is no warranty on the babies. There are they are they are sold as is, they are handmade products, and they are collectibles. Now don't get me wrong. If you get your baby and it's something that I did in error, I'm going to represent my business name. You send that baby back to me. You have so many days to do that. I either make you another baby. That's if you had a custom, not a surprise baby. I either make you another baby or um, you're, you're not getting your money back for buyer's remorse. So that's not going to happen, y'all. But I'm saying if it's something that I did in error, then I'm going to honor honor my policies, which is all on my website. I'm going to honor it because it's my business name. But I'm not going to warranty fixing a baby head and you had your grandbaby drag the baby hair or whatever all across the off the floor or whatever. So I, she had she sent the baby for me to repair it, but I charged her. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to fix my work because that's my work, but I'm not going to do it for free. So I hope that if that makes any sense. 
I know that when I comb, I y'all sit up here and y'all see me comb these baby hair and I haven't even sealed the hair yet because I know what I'm doing. I'm gentle when I'm doing it. And if I can comb the hair without the hair coming out and it ain't even sealed, you can't come to me and tell me your baby hair fell out like a month later. It's, it's something, something done happened. It, them kids, some kids done had that doll. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but you know, I've been blessed. Don't get me wrong. I've had in my whole time reborn it, knock on wood. I've only had a couple of incidents where I had problems. Um, and pretty much, um, the case was in my favor. Cause like I say, I've been, I've been with, um, PayPal, like they know my record. They know, you know, they know my record. So if something going on, they going to dig down deep into it. And like I say, you can't get your money back for buyer's remorse. So if you don't like the baby. You're just going to have to post it on eBay and try to sell the baby to get your money back. That's why I explained to everybody what it is. They don't want to pay. I got a surprise baby price and I have a custom baby price. They don't want to pay the custom price because it costs more. And y'all, um, to do a custom, that's more work on me. You know, that's more work on me. I have to stop. I have to take pictures. I have to send the pictures. I have to wait on a response. Sometimes I may not get a response for a week later, you know. And then when I get the response, it's like, do this, do do, do do, do this. So then I got to do a couple more. Stop, take pictures. Like customs is a lot of work, y'all. A lot of work. And then you 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 can explain if I go darker, I can't go lighter. But then I'll be like, oh no, go a couple of layers more darker. And then I go darker, they don't like it. Guess what? I gotta start all over again. Mm -mm. I saw so that's why I said if I do customs, I'm taxing. I have to. They just customs are hard to do. Um what else was we talking about? I don't lost my train of thought, y'all. Um, but don't get me wrong, because I have some reborn mommies that change their babies all the time, and they haven't had any problems with it. It's just you have to be—they're delicate. You just have to be careful with them. Um, if it, if it, if if I can have it my way, it's thirty days in a month. Wait, it's four weeks in a month, right? But I know everybody can't do it. But that's the thing. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I get a lot that will say, um, okay, I'll do it in your vision. But then they'll send me a picture and be like, can I have the hair like this? No, ma'am. No, ma'am, because you're taking it from me doing in my vision to what you want. And to be honest with you guys, and a lot of my mommies will tell you, my vision actually comes out better than my custom. Then you know why? Because I'm able to freely do what I want as an artist. I don't have to focus on what somebody, it's hard to envision what somebody else um, want. That's just like, if you on the phone with me and you're telling me step by step, I'm trying to make your apple pie. You're telling me step by step what to do. Guess what? That pie is still not going to come out tasting like yours. It's not. It's not going to come out tasting like yours. And that's the, ha have y'all ever tried to make something that somebody cooked and they told you everything that they did, but it didn't come out how you tasted theirs? That's how I feel when I'm painting on a custom. Like it's, it's, and then it's like, it's like, oh my gosh, I don't like how this is looking, but I can't tell the mommy that because the mommy wants the baby like that. And then that like takes away from that, like, oh, I can't explain it. That does something to reborn artists. Now, I don't know if you guys, that's just like, if you say you're going to make a, um, a birthday card for somebody and you're making this birthday card and you're looking at this card and you're putting pink in the, you're you we're going to say we're, you're using pink, purple, and white. No, that sound like Valentine's day. We're going to say you using pink, purple, 
we're just gonna say you're using pink and purple and you and you're designing this card and the person tell you oh you good freestyle it freestyle it you using pink purple you did some white letters with some pink um outline or something like that and then oh by the way my um daughter's cup favorite color is green do you think you could slap some green in there what do ken what do ken and uh oh i love them ken and um oh crap what do ken and uh trey is it ken and dre what? Oh, i gotta get their name right what she say i'll wait would you feel like would you feel weird but even though you want to still try to even though you still want to try to um satisfy your customer but your customer ordered a surprise birthday card and said i trust you to make it in your vision so they paid that lower price and then you get halfway through and they want to slap you with can you throw some green in there but you didn't want to pay to get the custom you know people try that all the time you can't do that you can't say oh okay and then once you pay your deposit come back and try to um change something and i had i used to have people try to do that with me all the time so you know what i call paypal paypal what can i do People trying to do this, people trying to do that, and they not even done paying on their baby, and da 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 You know what they told me to do? Make sure that I have it on my contract. Deposit is non-refundable because you're not going to pay your deposit and then come back with, oh, by the way, can I have that hair that's in that baby when you purchase a surprise baby? Because now you're taking away from me making the baby in my vision so that means you just turned your order okay if you want to use that kind of hair no problem we have to void out your contract we redo you another contract and you pay the money to do you a custom but you also lost your deposit you get what i'm saying like don't you can't do that you can't pay your deposit and then come back and want to try to oh well oh i want that baby eyes mm -mm. You want to get the eyes you want. You want to get the hair you want. You want to get the tone you want. Pay for a custom. Pay for a custom. Y'all, so many times that they'll get on my list. They'll hurry up and get on my list. Oh, and another one. I tell everybody before you even get on my list, if you need the layaway, it's a six-month layaway, and then on the seventh month, I make the baby. Y'all know tax time is here. So they trying it. They trying it with the TT. They trying it with the TT. I explain to everybody, even though you get on my payment plan, oh, well, I need the payment plan, but I could pay it off next month. The best thing for you to do is to wait until you have all your money together and then purchase the baby. And then my wait time is shorter because my lair weight is for mommies that cannot pay all the money up front that needs to be able to be on a payment plan. So it's not fair to them that they pay every month on time and you pay just so you can make sure you get a baby, but then you want to come back and pay your baby off and think you're going to jump everybody else. That's not how it works. So the best thing to do is just to wait until you pay out till you have all your money and then purchase a baby. Um, I used to try to do that and it caused so many problems. So I can't do that no more. I have so many that I do on layaway and then everything else is paid in full. And like I tell everybody, I'm not the only reborn artist out here. There are thousands, no, I'm not going to say thousands because I don't know if it's thousands, but I know it's over a hundred of us. It's so many of us out here that does the reborn baby dolls. But everyone's painting is different. Everyone paints different. There's no wrong way. There's no, no, um, I'm not going to say there ain't no right way, but I'm going to say there ain't no wrong way because the reason why I'm going to say that is because if I take, I'm about to show y'all something. I'm about to show y'all something. And don't laugh at me. I'm being, I'm being dead serious. 
dead serious after I do this leg. Hold on. I'm being dead serious. Okay. Just give me, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Y'all got any questions? Drop them below. Drop them below. Drop them. I'm not ignoring y'all. Y'all know when TT get to talk. See, this is what I like. When y'all interact with me, TT ain't boring if y'all interact with me and ask questions because then my brain gets to going and going and going. But if y'all don't interact with me and I'm just sitting here and I ain't got nothing to say, I'll be lost, y'all. I'll be lost. Is this is this the body for the baby you working on last night? Huh? Is this the body? What you mean, Miss Taylor? No, 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 no. I was rooting last night, right? No, 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 no. Miss Taylor, no. This body goes to the babies that I'm painting on. The baby that I was rooting last night, she is painted. She's fully painted. So once I start rooting their hair, that means I'm done with their painting. Look, I got confused for a minute, Miss Taylor. Yeah, I was rooting last night, so her body is done. Yes, I agree with you. I would too and can't wait to see Nisha. I need to do her baby, y'all. I've been talking about that baby ever since I've been in this house. <laughs> but y'all know I've been busy, so I haven't had a chance to. And I want it to be the perfect kit. You know what I mean? I want it to be the perfect kit. She's not into it as, as in helping. No, she's not. She's not into the combing hair and dressing, but like I say, she support what I do, but are you going to see Nisha in there changing the baby? No. Are you going to see she's got Ronnie and she's got, uh, she's got cupcake fairy. She likes the kit. She was drawn to the kit. That's the kit that she wanted. Cause I was going to sell cupcake fairy. And she told me, no, she wanted her like, she likes them. But she's not going to be doing all that interact. She would be more of a collector. Like it would be displayed somewhere in her room when she moved. So basically, if when she move out, whatever clothes they have on, they will have them same clothes on for years and years and years. <laughs> for years, you know what I'm saying? So um, helping dress, comb their hair and stuff. Then, but other than that, she don't pay no attention. She don't. Y'all know I'll be having to change my grandbaby. She be neglecting them. And y'all know Ronnie, Ronnie, that's not how his Ronnie is the uh only one that had an upgrade since I reborn him. He had his hair was really, 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 really short. And she wanted him to have more hair. So we end up putting more hair at the top of his um at the top of his hair don't forget to push that like button thank you miss miss jan thank you boo <laughs> oh, okay did you get done with her hair oh no ma'am once i get off the live with you guys i will be going and doing some rooting before i go to bed um i would be rooting now but we have went out to um we had went out to dinner, so that took some of the time for me painting. So um, once I get off the live, I'll probably root for about two hours. But I probably won't be done with her probably maybe Tuesday. But she's not nobody's baby, and um, she's a random that I need to get posted when I can because, like I say, I usually do three randoms a month to cover my bills, but I haven't been able to do that so um oh excuse me the babies that are going home are these ones and i gotta get them painted so i can start rooting them so i can get them home get them get them home yes 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 get them get them get them get them home okay so now y'all see how oh wait shoot oh wait okay y'all see how this part is lighter this is the work that i've already put in the baby does have detail but let me see is it gonna pick it up 
focus. Let me take this off. Focus. Are you guys able? I'm trying to get it to focus, focus, focus. It want to focus with everything in the back. Focus. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Y'all going to, y'all, we going to get this to focus. It's supposed to be a good camera. Can y'all see how it's just not flat? Like you would buy a doll in the store. Let me go down some. Well, y'all see it on the cameras. Wait, there it go. Focus. It don't want to focus, y'all. Okay. You don't want to focus. <laughs> but you should you should be able to tell that it's not just one flat color because she's got life up under what I'm doing now. So she just don't look no flat color. <clears throat> Are these twins? No, they're not twins. Um, these two are going to the same mommy. Um, the, wait, these two are going to the same mommy. And then the other one, the, wait, no, the other one of her is for a different mommy. Okay. Y'all got any other questions? Um, I felt like I was going to tell y'all something, but I forgot. I don't know what it was. Oh. Oh. I don't know what Miss Tiffany baby probably got school. I'm like, I didn't see her come up in here. Yes. So this layer that you see me putting on, I have my fan going. They're drying. Once they dry, see this, this one's dry, but I'm not going to run them through the oven. I'm going to run them through in the morning because it's going to take me too long. Um, Hold on. This one's still wet. Oh crap. Hold on y'all. This is this is uh I don't want them to touch. Now it's not focusing. Why are you not focusing? Why are you not focusing? What's going on? The internet messing up? What's going on? You got you got extra blurry. Hey. Oh, that was weird. Camera, you doing a mind of your own. Okay, look. This one's wet. This one's dry. You see how it got lighter and this one's still darker. So once they dry, I have to run them through the oven for eight minutes. Then I have to let them cool off. And then I do it all over again. And I do that until I get the baby to where I want. So if I draw one line on the baby, I got to bake it because I work with, um, I work with Genesis heat set paint, so the paint has to be baked on. So yeah, so if I if I put 20 layers on, that means they have to be baked 20 times. And I do a lot of layers. So and when I'm working with the bigger babies, I run two ovens at a time. Cause they all won't fit in there at one time. <clears throat>
I was about to show y'all something, but I forgot. What was we talking about? Maybe it'll ring a bell. Uh-oh. Y'all. I was talking about painting. I don't know. You told us wait till you get done with that leg and don't laugh at you. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I know what it was. I know what it was. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I was gonna show y'all something and don't laugh. I was gonna show you an example of why somebody could say they did a reborn. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you, I got you. Hold on. I remember now. I remember now. See, I was seeing if y'all was paying attention. Mm -hmm. I was seeing who was still in here with they TT. Ha! Y'all passed the test. Ha! Nah, I'm just playing. I did forget though. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I'm just to show y'all something. We were talking about um we were talking about uh that you get a kit, you slap a layer of paint on there, because like I say, everybody paints different. You can call it a reborn. <laughs> okay. You can call it a reborn because the simple fact. You took that blank kit and you reborn it and put it into, uh, even if you put some eyes in it, you put some eyes in it, you pop some eyes in there and you root the blank kit and put it together, you can call it a reborn baby. Okay? Everybody is on their own level. Everybody does their own thing. Everybody paint differently. Um But I think what um, what helped me, and it's it's artists that are doing it now. They wasn't in the beginning, but um, they see how my babies were selling. So what they did, they're doing them now, and they went way lower than my price. But at the end of the day, do you boo? Because what's 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 for me is gonna be for me. And that's why I thank God every day. I thank God every day that my community that I have, I have to introduce them to the reborns. I don't, my community is not, I may got a couple of people that are from the reborn doll, reborn doll community, but most of my reborn mommies are new to the reborn doll community. So they, um, half the time, I don't even post my babies. I've never post my babies except for in the beginning. I don't have to post my babies for sale in nobody group. I don't have to do that. And I thank God. I'm so blessed and thankful for him for that. Um, so, like I said, they're doing toddlers now. They they went way below my price, and, and that's fine. But to each his own. It don't stop, it don't stop me from getting babies up out the nursery. So um, now you got other people because I was known for the toddler artists. I was known for the one that did the toddlers because wouldn't nobody do them. It's too much work. But this is what I was going to show y'all. That's why I barely did smaller babies. So <laughs> this is a blank. This is what I was going to show y'all though. This is a blank kit. And there are people that do this. Now this is a blank kit, right? All right. Okay. I'm not going to paint the whole thing. I just want to give y'all an example. Okay, we put some paint on here, right? Okay. And we just going to visualize that I painted the whole baby. Now, remind you, when it's dry, it's going to get lighter. When I bake it, it's going to get lighter. So it's going to look like I ain't did nothing to the baby. 
I slap this one layer of paint on, put the baby in the oven, bake it, because you don't have to put no sealer on the baby as long as you're baking at the right temp. Because as he said, paints is gonna bank and adhere, it's gonna bake and adhere to the vinyl. Okay, so I did this one layer. Bam. Take it out the oven, wait till it cool off, pop some eyes in there, put it together. I just made me a reborn baby. I just made a reborn baby, y'all, with one layer of paint. It's some people that do that. And they babies, they sell their babies. And the thing is, that's why I always stress to you guys. I always stress to you every any all my lives. Do your research, do your research, do your research, do your research. Because if I'm paying, you got somebody that's selling a reborn baby for $150. Okay. Don't get mad if your baby had one layer of paint. Don't get mad if your baby don't got no paint. Don't get mad if your baby ain't got no, no, no blush on them lips. Like, don't be mad. Do your research. Do your research. Do your research. And they done, chi the, I don't even know if they're from China, but y'all know who I'm talking about because every time you type in reborn dolls, they the first thing you see. They got hip. They got hip because they know that the reborn doll community is expensive. Banding, they got help, y'all. Do you know how many pictures I got of babies from them wanting me to? Um, can I reroute their baby? No, ma'am, I ain't touching that stuff. No, ma'am, or they mad because they done got scammed, or they thinking that it's me. Time well, that was your baby I seen on the um, on the um, <laughs> on the website. First off, <laughs> none of them babies look like my work. Second off, they take, they steal artist pictures. They put them on their website. And I think the only reason that I didn't get hit yet because I mostly make toddlers. Y'all know Saskia and Gertie, not Gertie. They just started putting Gertie on the website. Saskia is a very popular kit. So that's the kit that you they, they go grab everybody, Saskia. I try my best to put my logo as close to the face as possible, but it don't even matter. It don't even matter because they know how to take that out. But if they got that pink on, y'all know what my Gerties went home in. I give them about a week. They probably going to be on there too. But the thing is, you got to do your research. You got to do your research. You got to do your research. When you're purchasing anything, do your research. Because it tells you, if you go look in their description, it tell you. Lord, forgive me. I'm not laughing at anybody that got a baby from them. I'm not laughing at y'all. I'm not laughing at y'all. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I just stress this so much. Do your research, people, because if you don't go and looking at that fine print, because it'll tell you at the bottom, you are not purchasing the baby that you see in this picture. You're not. It says it on their website. And guess what? You can't go get your money back. You know why? Because it says it. It says it. Don't nobody read. All they see is, oh, I can get a reborn baby, $109. Check out. Don't nobody read. Y'all have to do your research. You have to do your research because when you go back to try to get your money back, you're not getting your money back because it says that anything that anything you have for sale, if there is a description box, and you have all your information in that box. That is a legal document. It's a legal document. When you do invoices through PayPal. And when the person went back, when the person, she was doing it to a bunch of, a bunch of artists. When she went back trying to get her money back. The what saved me was because I had our whole conversation on Messenger. They took that as a legal document. That's the only thing that saved me. And they told me to make sure for now on, I have everything typed in my description box. I won the case because I had our whole conversation on Messenger. I tell you guys, just do your research. Well, you know, we don't be wanting to do all that reading. I don't order stuff before. 
and I just went by the picture. And actually, I was ordering something for a reborn baby, and I went by the picture. I didn't go read, and guess what? I couldn't go after my money back. I had to go back and order the right size that I needed. You know why I couldn't go back and get my money back? Because it said it in the description, the size that it was, but I didn't take the time to scroll down and look at the description. I just bought it because that's what I needed, but I didn't know it was all different sizes. You have to, you have to, you have to pay attention when you guys are checking out and spending your money. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Like the kits cost what they're charging. So how are you, how are you making a reborn baby when the kit costs a hundred and a hundred and thirty dollars, but you're selling a reborn baby for a hundred and nine? Just do y'all research, y'all. Do y'all research. And as soon as they every soon as they get reported, they take it down and put one back up. They change the name every day. The name change. Every day. And they like, well, how are they at the top of Google? How are they how are they at the top of Google? Because they're paying for advertisement. They're paying to have their stuff ran. They're paying for that. That's why they're at the top of everything. Anybody can pay to have their stuff ran. And they don't even use they don't even use the term reborn doll and they still pop up. I'm just saying, y'all, do your research. Because they take an artist's pictures, they're using artist pictures. And I, I've never, I've never used if it's a kit that I've never made, I never posted that baby up for sale on my website. I always wait until I made that kit before so I can show a sample of my work. I don't want to post somebody else work and then somebody ordering from me and thinking the baby's going to look like that. I don't even know why people do that, but people do it. I don't care if I never painted the kit before. I'm not going to sit up there and go get the prototype artist picture and put it up and say, I have this kit to paint. I'm not because nine times out of 10, no one's reading. No one's paying attention. They're going to check out. And when they get their baby, their baby is not going to look like that prototype artist, that that um, picture that you use, and they're going to want their money back. Look at the hairline. I know your your hairline. And <laughs> thank you, Miss Lady. You say my hairline tells it all, huh? <laughs> They use a machine to put the hair in on 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 them what they what whatever you want to call them. Cause mm, I say to each his own, but they their sites be reported. They're always reported. Turn around, put another one up. They probably got backup sites. <laughs> but like I say, it's very that's just like that's just like Popeyes. What everybody do when that video went viral? Everybody, people that didn't even eat Popeyes was at Popeyes. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's into the reborn babies now. And hey, they, 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 um, Christmas though. Oh my gosh. Christmas. They was all up and down Facebook timeline. They back. They don't start back. They took a little break. They took a little break because I didn't see them down there. Now they back. Because y'all know them tax time. Tax time coming. Do your research. Do your research. I had someone still in my pictures talking about they had the baby. So the person emailed me. And they wasn't even smart enough to crop babies and kids unlimited out of there. The, pe the person emailed me and was like, um... This lady took five hundred dollars from me, and I guess she seen my she. I guess she seen my name, my business name on the picture. So she was like, "Cause she thought it was me at first. And I'm like, "Um, you need to go check your PayPal to see who you gave your money to, because that wasn't me." I said, "My babies don't, my toddlers don't cost five hundred dollars." And she was like, "Um, but it looked like your work." And I'm like, "Yeah, she she sent me the screenshot." 
I'm like, yeah, they took my picture. But I said, that baby haven't even, I had to show her. I went live just to show her. I'm like, that baby, because I was doing work in progress pictures of the baby that I was working on. I'm like, that baby haven't even left the nursery yet. Matter of fact, I take that back. It was a baby that was on Lairway and she was getting ready to go home. And I was posting um, pictures of her. I was posting pictures of her and she was still here in the nursery. And I went live just to show her that baby has not left yet. Same outfit, everything that the baby had on in that picture. I'm like, and I can't do anything about them still in my pictures. Cause once you post it, it's public, you know, but people do it. Now they shh, tax time. I, it's always happened. Tax time around Christmas time, tax time, Christmas time be the worst. That bees the worst. And it don't just be the fake baby sites. It be people on Facebook, lurkers, people sitting in the back. It be them. It be them. Just be careful and do your research. Um, went there and went to fighting over a sandwich. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Miss Lady? Where are you fighting over a sandwich at? But don't get me wrong, y'all. There's some awesome artists out here. There are a lot of us out here. There's a lot of us that do right. And like I tell everybody all the time, my prices don't fit you. All you got to do is go on Google and go on Facebook and type in Reborn Doll Artists. And nine times out of 10, they will have a nursery page on Facebook. That's all you have to type in is Reborn Doll Artists. And go and look at their page, look at their work, see if it's something that um, that you would, you know, that see if you like their work, if that's something that you want, and contact them. Oh, went there and went to fighting over. Right, they did. Yeah, they did. I've seen that video too. Hmm. All right, mama. I got to make some room because y'all taking up the space, little babies. Y'all taking up the space. Uh-oh. Little babies. Okay. TT needs some more room. That's why I have never tried to sell any of mine on Facebook. They do the most to you and don't have time for that mess. Don't see this. The thing, Miss Lady. This the thing. We as women. Do the most period. And. The only thing that I don't like about the reborn community is. You have people that will belittle someone so bad, but didn't do their research, didn't look around. They just assume that it's supposed to be this way, but it was done that way. And 
when you, when you, when you, I mean, when I say belittle so bad, they'll sit up there and say, oh, the, the, the knuckles are not dark enough. Maybe the artist didn't want to make them that dark. You know, when you're purchasing a baby, when you're purchasing a baby and you see the picture and if you are picky about what you're purchasing, the right thing to do would be, can I see more pictures? Can I see pictures of the hands? Can I see pictures of the feet? Um, and they'll complain. I don't see where they'll complain about an artist. You know, I be, I be quiet. I sit in the back. I just listen. I listen and I just watch. And I've done seen people complain about an artist, right? Because they, they thought it wasn't done. From their understanding, the correct way. But then they turn around and got a baby from an artist that didn't disclose that they were new. And when they got that baby, they turn around and apologize for the things that they said about the artist. You get what I'm saying? Do you, do, do you feel me? When it shouldn't have been said in the first place, you know, because if you not, everybody's painting is going to be different. And if you are a picky person, that's just like, you're not going to go to, you're not going to go to McDonald's. If you're not going to go to McDonald's and eat chicken nuggets and you're allergic to them. You know what I'm saying? You're going to find you something else to eat. And I just be like, wow, that, that, that artist was belittled because of little minor things. And it really wasn't minor things because not unless you, if you was getting a custom and your custom, when you're getting a custom, the baby ain't even supposed to go home until you finalize that you're okay with everything that was done to that reborn baby. So if you're getting a custom and then you get the baby home, well, and I'm not going to say that it wouldn't be up to your standards. I'm not going to say that because you got some that will filter the pictures out. So I'm not going to say that, but eight, 90% should be up to your standards. Um, Like, I don't know. It's the reborn community is just, I don't know. I don't be in them groups. I go in my group. I say hi every now and then. I got a woo, woo, woo baby. She um pretty much runs the group for me. I got a couple of mommies in there. If something's going on and we don't catch it, they'll message us. But for the most part, I used to go in the groups, but it's just so much. How do you have drama? I guess you have drama everywhere. Like just women do the most. Women do the most. Women do the most. That just all sums it up. Women do the most. You know. Don't sell them on Facebook, Miss Lady. You got Etsy. You could sell them on. The, my shop is on Etsy. And I used to have a website, but my it cost to have it cost to um it cost to um it costs for your um web space every month. And I, I wasn't having traffic coming to my website like that and pretty pretty much my babies were not even making it to the website so i was just pretty much paying for for hosting for nothing so i start going on etsy um and what i like about etsy is you know they're gonna get their cut and that's fine but they have so many when you got your own website if you're not drawing traffic to your website it's going to be hard for you to get any sales. When you have your own website, 
you pretty much have to get the traffic there and then you have to rely on word of mouth until you're getting enough traffic to where Google recognize it and start putting you up in the, in the one or two pages once you got enough traffic that went to your website. So if somebody go type in reborn baby doll, you'll pull up. So that's what I like about Etsy. Etsy, they show you on Google. Etsy is with, you know, they're however it is, but you're shown on, you're shown on Google. So if I have babies in my shop and they don't have to go to Etsy to find me, if I have babies in my shop, it'll pull up on Google. So that's what I like about Etsy. And I don't have to pay for that. You know, it pulls up long as your SEO is, um, your SEO is right. You'll pull up in glue in Google where it has Google shopping. You'll pull up in there. But you can you can do it on Etsy because Etsy is for people that do handmade. You could sell on eBay, Miss Lady. You know. Okay, you do that now. Cool, cool. Miss Lady, any don't be afraid someone gonna mess up over your mess over your money. You just make sure that whatever you're selling on you make sure that you have all your terms and conditions in that description because that's your legal document you make sure you have it in that description um because you're gonna get people that you're gonna get people that purchase something and want to try to you get a lot of people that want to do bios remorse you know and you have to cover yourself because they'll try it they will try it. You're not going to do that to me. You better sell that baby. You said most newcomers. Okay, we do that now. And by me, yeah, you want newcomers. You want newcomers. You just make sure you type... If you're on Etsy, Etsy give you a whole description page. You type everything in there. Go on Etsy, go into your um the back of the office, make sure you have your your um your shipping time. If you sell a baby and you say you take returns, make sure you got wrote in there after the day of after the day of because you track your shipping, you know when the baby made it. You have three to five days to return that baby back to me in order to get a refund if that's what you choose to do. Because guess what? If they wait to the sixth day, try to send something back, you done, you know what I mean? You just got to make sure you got everything. You got to make sure you got everything wrote down because this lady, people do the most. People do the most. People do the most. People don't read. People don't read. People don't read. They just see and check out. See and check out. But if you got all that stuff wrote down, you're going to cover yourself. And I learned that because of what happened to me, Miss Lady. I had to have PayPal tell me because they like, we never had this kind of activity on your account. I'm like, I know. What can I do to protect myself in the future? You know, and they the ones, they the ones help walk me through on what I need to do to cover myself. Because when you're dealing with the reborn community or any anybody that's dealing with selling products, entrepreneuring, you have to cover yourself. You have to cover yourself. Because people do the most. They really do. Like I say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't do that though. I wouldn't do that though. But say, say, <laughs> I'm just saying, I wouldn't do that though. But I'm just saying, say, okay, I'm gonna give you an example. And I know it's probably a lot of people mad because they come in my inbox. I know it's some people mad. I've had a couple people come back to me. The website you sent me to sent me a blank kit. 
Miss Lady, if you message, you messaged me the other day, you know my paragraph that I have. You know what I'm talking about. It tells you, you go to XYZ, you pick out a kit. All I need is the name of the kit. It don't say go purchase the kit. It don't say none of that. It says you pick out a kit, come back, let me know the name of the kit so that I can quote you a price. But before all of that, it says my starting price is $800, okay? So they go click on one of them websites, say they go to Bountiful Baby, and they see a picture of a beautiful baby, and they see the price $59.99. Guess what they going to do? They not coming back to TT. They going there. They checking out. They ain't read nothing. They ain't read nothing. They checking out. What you, she trying to charge me $800, and I can get this baby for $59.99? Plus $7.95 shipping, she must be out her mind. And guess what? Guess what they got? This is what they got right here. This is what they got right here. This is what they got. And you know how I know they do that? Because I had a couple people. I purchased the kit and I was wanting to know. How much would you charge to reborn it? And I'd be like, as I stated before, my prices start X, Y, Z. I will minus what the kit costs. This is what they got. You know why this is what they got? But they, Because they did not read that in the description, it tells you, you are not getting the baby that is in the picture. You are purchasing a blank reborn doll kit not a kit with a body not a kit with eyes not a kit with hair you are purchasing a reborn baby blank kit so I can't do nothing if they don't come back. But most of them come back because then they go and look for another artist. And, you know, but my thing is, I don't like kits sent to me, sent to me. Um, That's because they have knockoff kits out here. I'm not trying to paint a knockoff kit. I'm not trying to get sick from a knockoff kit. And so I like to purchase my kits from vendors that I know are reputable vendors. So um, I order the kits myself. Hey, just unique dogs. So <laughs> Miss, Miss Jad, are you laughing at me? I'm just being honest. I'm being honest. I be y'all know I always be honest. I always be as honest as I can. But it's like we have to do anytime you spending your money, you have to do research. Because I'm telling y'all what was going through their head was she said, now listen, y'all, just listen. Wouldn't you think that I would be a fool to send somebody somewhere where they would charge $59.95 to make a reborn baby? Like, do they even think about that when I'm sending them to these websites? Do they even think about that? Like, literally, like, I would be dumb to do something like that. Oh, thank you, Drop for Life More. I'm just saying, listen, listen, but people don't think. Listen, with my chap lips and all. Wouldn't I be dumb to do that? I'm just saying. Like, literally, you start $800 up, but you just sent me to a website. And the kit was, but they didn't read it, it was a kit, 
How she gonna charge all that money but send me over here and I can get my reborn baby for $60 plus shipping? Like, I would be a fool to send somebody to somewhere that charged less than what I charge. I would be a fool to do that. But don't nobody think like that. They thinking, oh, <laughs> I'm going to give me a baby. And then <laughs> they get mad when they get it in the mail. I had a couple people message me. Uh, I purchased the kit because they didn't know what to say when they came back. And it's not painted. Yeah, you were supposed to come back and let me know. And y'all got to remember, Facebook, it show past messages. It shows past messages. Don't none get deleted out unless you delete it out. Even if they, even if they deactivate their page, the only thing you're going to see is it'll show, it won't have the person name. It'll say Facebook user, but guess what? That conversation is still in there. That conversation is still in there. So y'all know when y'all go contact the reborn artists, these are for the ones that's new. Y'all, y'all got to I'm painting, right? And that's just me. I don't know. Uh, my business hours are nine to five, but you guys know that I work past my business hours. If someone messaged me, this is, this is me. Someone messaged me, thing. I'm picking up my phone. Boom, 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 boom. I'm responding. Then I'm back to doing what I'm doing, waiting for them to respond back. I stop what I'm doing to respond. 90% of the time, 90% of the time. And I give you, how much is it for LMA? I send you how much it is. You left me on red because you didn't like what I said or you didn't like my price. Okay. The person leaves, go shopping around. Now remind you, like I said, there's not many people that do the toddler babies. They doing it now and drop their price because they see that I'm constantly got babies going out, which is fine. Make your money, boo. They shop around. They come back. Remind you, they come back a month later after they left me on red. They come back. I would like to get on your layaway plan. What y'all TT do? What y'all think y'all TT did? Let me know what y'all think y'all TT did. Let me know. <laughs> you said, Lordy, just you need dolls. When I can get my daughter and her kids to move out my house, I may have to get me a reborn baby. Let it be soon. Aww. <laughs> Look, get you one and hide it. <laughs> Look, get you one and hide it. What y'all think y'all TT did? Miss Lady, sorry, TT, I went to pay my bill. It's all right because I've been holding my water bill for a minute now because I didn't want to be rude and put y'all on hold, but I might have to put y'all on. I might on this program. I have to uh well I can show my background, uh my background picture. And I know it probably wasn't the professional way to do it. No, I left her on red. I left her on red. I leave a lot of people on red because this is my thing. If you couldn't even take out the time to say thank you. I, I know this is my business. I know that's what I'm supposed to do. I know that I'm supposed to respond to people. But at the same time, 
If you go, if you go email in Walmart, they're gonna respond back to you. And in that email, I don't care if it is pre-typed, it's gonna say sincerely, Walmart, thank you. It's gonna say thank you. If you got to email them 10 times, it's going to say thank you. It takes less than a second to say thank you. But what it was, they didn't like my price. They left me on red. Then they went and did some research. And then they came back. I leave on red because you know what? If a person do you like that, that order probably would have been a problem. You get what I'm saying? That order probably would have been a problem for me if I would have went on and took that order. And yeah, y'all probably like, all because she didn't say thank you. Yes, all because she didn't say thank you. Yep. Even when they tell me, that's okay, your price is too high. I still respond with, thank you. Have a blessed day. You crazy for charging prices like that in my messages. There are so many artists out here that makes the reborn babies. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for stopping by. Thank you. Because at the end of the day, even though, even though, <laughs> see, that's the difference with the person that say my prices is too high and the other person, the person that said my price is too high, they took out the time to type that my prices were too high. So that let me know you like my babies and you stay an extra few more seconds to type out your babies is too high. But that other person, that other person left me on red. You y'all see the difference? So I respond back, thank you. But the other person left me on red. At least the one that was sitting up there talking about your price is too high. At least they took out them 2.5 seconds to type that out. The other person didn't do that. They just looked at my response and left me on red. So when that person that come back and say, yo, prices is too high, and they'd be like, I really like your work. Is there any way you got a special or something? Come on. Guess who I'm going to be quick to go ahead and let order for me? Even though they put me down and said my prices were too high. I'm going to let that one, I'll do this special for you because I appreciate you coming back. Because that lets me know you like my work. You like my work well enough and good enough to sit up there and internet bully type back your prices is too high why you charge so much they still had to put their hands on that keyboard and type what they typed versus that person that looked at my message went out and left me on red i know that may sound backwards but i'd rather deal with that person that said my price is too high because guess what? If they come back and they order a baby from me, they're going to appreciate that baby because they already feel I'm too high. So they're going to appreciate that baby from me. That's going to be the one I'm going to want to work with. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I know I think weird, but that, you know. So when he... Man, but don't get me wrong, y'all. I used to I used to let stuff bother me. Oh, in the beginning, y'all, the my woo-woo babies was here with me in the beginning. Y'all know who y'all are. I used to clap back at these people because when I tell y'all, I used to have some trolls. Because I'm telling you, it used to be thousands over a thousand people in my life. So I had trolls. This is not over here on YouTube. We ain't got it like that in these YouTube streets, but I hope so one day. But over there on Facebook, we used to get all them trolls. And I used to clap back at them. And 
I got I got sat down and I got told TT, this is your business. TT, if they talking about you, let them talk about you. Cause guess what? That means you're doing something right. TT, don't clap back at them people. Cause at the end of the day, the ones that's being trolls, they not the ones that's gonna spend money with you. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm perfect because I still clap back every now and then, sometimes, because I'm human. But I used to clap back all the time. And then I was told you ain't even got to clap back. Your followers going to clap back for you. And you know what? You right. Because y'all was clapping back. Y'all was going hard for your TT. So I don't even clap back. I, I, I just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then if, it, if it's something that really bothered me, I let my assistant handle it so I don't get out of character and say the wrong thing. And when she clapped back, y'all know who she is. If y'all been following me from day one, she's my assistant. She's the only one I trust. There's a couple more that I wouldn't mind trusting. I'm going to holler at y'all when we pick up on these YouTube streets. But um, when she clapped back, she clapped back professionally and will make you think about what you just said to TT. Because me, I probably might, they'll probably screenshot what I said and I'll be all over the internet. <laughs> so if it's something that really bothers me, I let her respond for me. That, that response that I showed you guys the other night, that was her response. And what did she do? She was respectful and all the person had to say in the end was you have a blessed day. She shut her down. The, the one that was talking about, do I have kids? That conversation that I showed went over with you guys. The video that I posted a lot of people say a lot of people say that people that have a large following like i say i don't have a large following over here on youtube um some of y'all came over here with me but i do have a large following on facebook and i see people say when i watch videos and stuff i see people say that people once they blow up once they blow up they don't think about the ones that were there in the beginning. Always remember that is not necessarily true. People have to also understand that when you blow up, you're, you're, you're doing more opportunities. You're more busy. You're here. You're there. You're doing this. You're doing that. And you also have the trolls. You have the trolls, you have the trolls, you have the trolls. And sometimes you have to bring assistance in to handle your comments, your everything. Because if a person sat up there and just read every comment, which is impossible when you blow up and read the negative and read the positive, people are human. People got feelings. And you thinking you're doing something good, but you got them trolls that want to clap at you. You get what I'm saying? So it's don't ever feel that, oh, because that person blew up, they just forgot about us. Don't feel like that. Because sometimes when you got somebody that was on this level and went up to this level like 2.5 seconds, they have to bring somebody in to control everything that else was going on so that they can stay at this level and keep doing what they're doing. It's easier to make a video and tell everybody, I thank you for your support. I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for watching my videos. I thank you for buying my product. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Versus trying to go back and comment when you got over 100,000 comments on a video. It's not going to happen. So at the end of the day, somebody's still going to feel left out. 
And that's not that they leaving y'all out. It's just that they, when it's slow, like right now, it's it's 11 people in live. I can keep up with y'all right now. But let me tell you something. I don't been on, y'all know how my lives was over there on Facebook. When it's all them people in there, I can't keep up. Ain't no way. And you got, oh, you can respond to her, but you didn't respond to me. I didn't even see what you said. Y'all see the chat scrolling as fast as I see it scrolling. I, I'm telling you, if I see it going as fast as it is, y'all looking at the screen, y'all don't see that too, but they'll be, you didn't take out of me. Like, really? But I'm letting y'all know now. It get like that over here. I'm not going to be able to keep up, okay? I'm not going to be able to keep up, and I will make you guys a thank you video because as there's no way. I'm not going to be able to keep up. I've been there, done that. And that stuff affects people mentally, especially if they can't handle all that. Some people can get it and can't even handle it. Oh, excuse me. Y'all know I follow my girl, Be Love. She gets so much hate on this internet. It's not even fun. It's not even funny. She gets so much hate instead of just congratulating her. Job well done. You can't, you can't expect somebody. That's just like if you got a job. Do you want to be making five dollars and 13 cents? For the rest of your life or do you want to be acknowledged for that machine that you just learned how to do can i get a dollar then you move to the next machine that you picked up another skill can i get a dollar you don't want to stay at that five dollars you want to advance and then like i'm like i'm saying so you advance to being a supervisor like i ain't forgot about y'all but i gotta do I got to do my rules as a supervisor so that I can keep my job. And the first thing, oh, you got that supervisor position. Now you act funny. No, now I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, my job. So you can't be mad at me because I'm doing my job. And that's the same with, with her. She doing her job. She still posts a video every day. She do, every, like she say, nothing has changed except for she got noticed she still posted her video every day but they don't see that all they see oh she acting funny now because she blew up how she acting funny when she's still doing the same thing she was doing when she was right here she still give them a video every day even though she's at this level that makes no sense. So I'm warning y'all now. It get like it was over there on Facebook. I can't keep up. I'm going to post y'all a thank you video. I'm sorry. I can't keep up. I'm too old. I can't do all that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I did used to go ham. I did. I was that person. That's why I could tell you. I've been there. I done that. And when you on a mission, when you on a mission, especially if it's your business, you can't go ham with everybody. You just gotta. And like I say, I told you my boo, she sat me down. She talked to me. She was like, Hey, you know, if you trying to go somewhere, if you trying to and it wasn't like it was my name. I was using my business name. So it's like if you're trying to go somewhere, you can't keep you can't keep clapping back at these folks. You can't. And it wasn't that she just said you can't keep clapping back. Because anybody can tell you you can't keep clapping back. That didn't dawn on me that she said you can't keep clapping back. She said, you can't keep clapping back at these folks. And she broke it down and gave me examples to where I can understand. Keyword, keyword is that person that's sitting behind that keyboard that's being an internet bully, paying your bills. Non-factor. That person that's sitting up there talking about you at work, paying your bills. 
non-factor. That person that's talking about you, are they in a relationship with you? Non-factor. But you just telling me don't clap back. I ain't going to understand that because I'm in my feelings. But when she broke it down, I understood that. I understood that. But like I say, I'm not perfect. I still clap back. Barely, though. It has to be something really sensitive. And that with my daughter, that is like really, really sensitive. Um, and like I say, I clap back, but I didn't clap back personally. I let her clap back for me because I knew it was going to be done in a professional way. That's just like with me being comfortable going on. That's why I say she's like, like, she's like, oh, she rocks. Like when I first told her about, cause you know, everybody knew me for my voice. I barely got in the camera. You guys seen pictures, but I barely got in the camera. And when I was talking to her about doing YouTube, she was like, TT, what are you afraid of? I'm like, the, you know how people are when it comes to big people. People always have something to say. And I don't want nobody to perceive me as being lazy when this is what I do. This is my business. She said, Tina, you got a husband. You have your kids. what other people think don't matter. You have a husband that supports what you're doing. What other, what other people think don't matter. She was like, get on the camera, be, be, uh, be comfortable, be comfortable. Why should you care what people say? You know, you're not lazy. You know, you push these babies out. You know, you do what you need to do. So if they say you lazy, why should it offend you? when you know it's not true but it took her breaking it down for me for me to okay let me get comfortable let me start recording myself and stuff like that because i told her my vision my vision was that i wanted to do youtube but i still wanted to implement the reborn babies because that's my business name that's what i do and i was drawn to people doing the mug bangs and i was like how can i do the mug bangs and still have my business in it so that's why i came up with have the babies in the background you know but stuff like that but she had to break it down in order for me to you know because when you think and you don't be thinking about stuff like that to break it down like Mm -hmm. it, it always take that good person, that good person to, if you got somebody to break stuff down for you and you, sometimes it takes seeing it from somebody else's point of view, because man, it'd be hard out here in these streets sometimes. You are highly skilled. That's not lazy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just saying, you know how you know how people do. And she was like, let them talk. And while they talking, let them bring views to your channel. I like, you know, you right. So that's why y'all always hear me saying, when y'all, when y'all sitting up here talking about me, don't forget, tell your friends and tell their friends so their friends can tell their friends. And one of your friends is gonna like what I do and probably purchase a baby. So that's how I look at it now. When they sitting up there being negative and being trolls. Be like, go on and invite your friends over here. Tell them to come over here and talk about you with me. I mean, with you. Because one of them going to like what I do. Lisa, y'all know they always calling me. <laughs> y'all know they always calling me uh, mentally ill. They say I'm mentally ill. <laughs> but like, I ain't have my medicine today. But now, 
no joke not playing with that because like i say that's nothing to play with but um they always call me mentally ill but they fail to realize all of us got a little a little something wrong with us everybody in this world no one in this world is perfect no one no one that's human oh i did not know we went past oh oh my hand cramping up i did not know we went past our time oops <laughs> y'all was rocking with me look at y'all oh oh crap y'all see that this happens all the time i don't know if y'all can see how oh how that tightened up all that's cramping <laughs> These heads be, I done did a roll. I done did uh, a layer on everybody. So I'll run them through the oven in the morning. Cause it'll take too long to do it tonight. Um, what does it say? Miss hmm. MacArthur, have you been, I mean, Miss Jan. <laughs> Miss Davis Johnson, Miss Johnson, how you gonna come in at the end of the live? We started at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We actually went 30 minutes over, but I'll stay on for 30 more minutes, y'all, if y'all want me to, and just close it out. Um, in well, actually, 25 more minutes. So, y'all, every day for right now. TT going live, <laughs> excuse me, every day, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And that's 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And we stay live for two hours because you guys know we're on this train. And I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to, I want y'all to ride this train with me. I'm trying to get to my first stop. Okay. Um, if I'm not able to go live, because y'all know this is every day, because y'all know it's every day. I know I'm used to it, but TT be doing TT be tired sometimes. <laughs> if I'm not able to go live, you will have a video posted at the time that I was supposed to start my live. So, for example, if um if I um my list is real. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So for example, um if I take that out, it's gonna mute my audio. Let's say for example, I was supposed to go live tomorrow at 7 p.m. and something happens and I'm not able to go live, you guys will get a video posted at 7 p.m. Welcome back, Miss J. You said you haven't taken yours out because you don't want anyone touching. Right. Oh, you been in here, Miss? You been in here, Miss Johnson? Because that was earlier. You just, You been in here? I was talking about that at the beginning of the video. Um, what else I was supposed to say to y'all? Okay, that's the times we go live. I was explaining the times we go live. Oh, don't forget, y'all, Tuesday. Matter of fact, I got to make my video for Tuesday. Tuesday, I'm going to post my video for 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. That way you guys can go look at the video, or I may post it that morning. Y'all already know Tuesday we're going to be at um, Be The Difference channel, I believe. Let me go check my email. For that, for the interview, 
So we're going to be live on her channel. Um, hold on, y'all. I'm checking the uh, and I'll remind you guys tomorrow too to make sure you guys don't um miss it. So I won't be able to go live on on Tuesday because we're gonna be over there. She is she invited to do an interview with me, which I'm very honored. Um I want to make sure I got the gentle name right. Yes, Be The Difference. So we'll be at Be The Difference Clothing on Tuesday. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. I got to go back and see. <clears throat> she says she'll send me a... um. She'll send me an invitation an hour before, but I wrote it down because her time zone is, her time zone is different from mine, y'all. So we'll be there Tuesday. Oh, another thing I found out today, you guys. <laughs> If you guys go, if you guys go to a video and say the video is five minutes long and you go in just to go on there to type a comment and then you go out, it marks your comment as spam. So um, it lets you know when. Someone's really not watching your videos. I thought that was kind of cool because I was wondering why um, certain people name because it'd be like um, TT great great video. Well, they didn't actually watch the video. They just went to the video, made a comment, and then left right back out. So they marked that as spam. Um, what else I learned today? I'm trying to let you guys know what I'll be learning when I be in these YouTube streets. <laughs> um, and like I said, I've been writing down everything that I've been doing, and I still got some videos that I need to go and um, put my tags in because. I've had videos. I have videos all the way from 20. Because like I said I had my channel for a while. I just never really worked on my channel. So I got videos from 2016, 2015, 2010. I think I had one from 2010. I need to go and add tags on the video. See, that one just got marked as spam. Why? I started interview business. Owners on YouTube help increase a business if you would like to interview with me email tomorrow i'm interviewing nadia yeah i heard her saying she was um coming over there for an interview and see i don't know why it marked your comment as spam probably because the word interviewing i don't know see i'm still learning this stuff because or maybe because you put the email i have no idea What is oh uh, well you can't say what you typed last night. Um certain things like certain things I'm still learning, y'all, because certain words, hey Pam Jones, certain words you can't say because, like I say, what it is, it's a lot of people that are doing sub for sub. That is part of the reason why. They went up because it didn't used to always be you had to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours to be able to be monetized on YouTube. But the rules changed because sub for sub is like you go to my channel, I go to yours. That's a big no no. A big so anything that has to do with oh, I liked your page, oh, I 
um, I subbed or, oh, return love back. Anything that has something to do, do with that, they mark it as spam. They mark it as spam and they actually take the subscriber away from you. When we asked what we cooked last night, I don't think it necessarily was you said anything wrong, Miss Lady. It could also be that it wasn't enough time in between when you posted your first comment and you posted your second comment. Um, I see that done a lot on Facebook. Like, say I type, how you doing today? Enter. What are you doing today? No, say I type, how you doing today? Enter. What Nisha doing right now? Enter. If the comments are too close together and they think it's a bot. Do that make any sense? That's just like when I post my, when I post my um, updating my album, when I post my updating my album, or even, even when I, even when I respond to comments, Hey, my life is Brooke. Even when I respond to comments on Facebook, Okay, if I go down, even though it's my business page, if I go down, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, bam, I'm spam. So you have to have a break in between, not a break, but you don't want to be like, say you type enter and then you type real fast and then you enter again and you type real fast and you enter again. They think that's a bot, so they'll mark it as spam. Because I've been done like that on my own page. And they, they put me in timeout. I'm like, it's my business page. I'm not supposed to say thank you to everybody. So it's not the fact that I said um, thank you. It's the fact that I said thank you, enter. Thank you, enter. I'm going down the comments on the video. Thank you, enter. Thank you, enter. I'm repeatedly saying the same thing when I should have said, thank you, have a blessed day, enter. Thank you, happy face, enter. Thank you, hope to see you soon, enter. Thank you, you got to switch it up because it thinks you're a robot. Even in the baby messages, right, right. Like I say, I didn't know that until it happened to me. I'm like, but I'm on my own page. But yeah, they be on it because you got, you got robots that go in. You got robot, like right now, if I wanted to put a robot on my chat, and I put in keywords and you guys type it and I tell the robot to put you in timeout. The robot will put you in timeout. If you go on people YouTube, it'll say bot, B-O-T. That's because they don't want to make, you know, most of them use the bots. Nothing wrong with using the bots because it's a tool for us to use. But sometimes bots can make a mistake and block somebody from your page. And the and the and say I didn't know I didn't know that the person was blocked because the the robot blocked the person. <laughs> so the person email you on Instagram or something, be like, oh, you blocked me, and I'm like, I didn't even know he was blocked because the the bot does it by keywords. So say you type in, say I use a keyword like ugly, right? And I tell the bot to to um. I tell the bot to block you because you you use the word ugly. And then you could have been, we could have been holding a conversation and that word ugly wasn't even targeted towards me. It could have been like, girl, I put that ugly wig on today. Bam. You got blocked because you used the word ugly. Um, yeah, that could be, that could be why. Miss Moore, it could be because of the email. I'm thinking that's that's the only thing that I see wrong with the comment. Yeah, go ahead and remove it. Hold on, let me screenshot it first. Okay, now you can remove it. Because like I say, I can verbally say that to let my let my peoples know. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I think that's what it was, was the email address. Um, so you don't got blocked and then you emailing me on Instagram, like 
TT, you blocked me. I'm like, what? I blocked you. I ain't blocked you. Uh huh. I can't get on no more. And the robot done blocked because you used the word ugly. So I'm kind of scared to use that the robot thing. But at the same time, I don't want to just be getting moderators from people on YouTube. Like, I don't know them on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I have a couple people in mind when it does start picking up, but I have to um, see if you guys are okay with that. But some, I don't win in somebody's channel and he made me a moderator. I'm like, I hope he don't think I'm about to do some work because when they making these people moderators, some people's intentions are not for them to actually monitor their page. Some of their intentions is you got people in these YouTube streets that they want to feel important. They want to feel like they're doing something. And they, they'll do that. And guess what? When you go live and you got the, all these moderators, you probably don't know half of them. Guess what? Because they want to feel important. They're going to stay in your lives. You get what I'm saying? So when it comes to moderators, I'm kind of iffy about that. But like I said, I did it with Facebook with 194,000 uh, followers with just one person helping me on my page. So it could be done without having all the moderators like that. But now I say, when you ask what, oh, what we cooked last night. So yeah, so you guys just don't type. Okay, like for example, Miss Lady, you type wow, enter, got it, enter, right, ginner, enter. And it's 944, 945, 946. So you took a break. Okay, you took a break before you typed again. But say you did it like two more times, it probably would have got marked as spam. Does that make any sense, Miss Lady? Even though you didn't use the same word, your words were short and it's not enough time in between the comments. Do you want me to remove? Oh, I got that already. Please don't put me on. I ain't putting nobody in timeout. I was going to ask you, did you want a ranch if I got busy, Miss Jan? I let you put people in timeout. <laughs> You can you can help Miss Bryant. That's when I get busy. I was gonna message you and ask you if you were you because you do it anyway. You're on you you do you do it anyway. You tell people to share, you tell people you've been doing it since you've been with me. And I'm like, you know, you've been doing it, you do it anyway. Yes, drop, yes, drop for life, yes. And I've been I've been going through my comments too because like I say it's it's my thing is when I go in these lives you will love it oh that's what I'm talking about I got you Miss Jan I go in these lives and I watch people I every I always say hello everyone I don't go in the lives to try to get views I don't go in the lives to do none of that I'm the type of person. I, I like to be live. I know how my woo 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 babies feel when I'm live. And when I'm rooting or if I'm not live, I like to listen to something. I like to listen to something while I'm live. Okay, so they have these things called growth streams. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Me personally, I'm not going to do it. Now, I'll go and sit in a live if I feel that that person is genuinely genuine, basically. Genuine. That's just like D-Cop for life. I went to that channel because I heard somebody talking about that channel on another live. So I went to that channel and they were live. I'm like, oh, okay. There's some very inspirational stuff right here. So guess what? I clicked that red button. But I don't went to a lot of these channels that they go here, go here, go here, go there, go there. 
And I'm like, uh, that's not for me. You get what I'm saying? So um, I don't want to put in the work of doing whatever they rules is just to try to get what they're trying to do. Like I say, ain't nothing wrong with it to each his own, but I want my, I want, cause this is the thing. And this is just, this is, this is how it is. People are going to do what they need to do to get to where they are. And when they done, they don't forgot about you. They gone. Probably going to subscribe, unsubscribe you when they gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to sit here and put all this work in for what? If I'm going to go, if I feel that I can learn something, I'll sit there with you in your live because that's what I like to do. I may not go play none of your videos, but I'll come sit and listen in your live because I like to listen to people while I am working. That's just me. So for me to commit to going and listening to somebody's videos for X, Y, Z, I know that's something that I cannot do because I like listening to lies, you know? So like I say, it's nothing wrong with it. You meet people doing it. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Cause it's a couple of people that I subscribe to that I like listening to all because I heard their name in somebody else's, um, page. But do I want to commit to doing all of that? No. Cause I know I wouldn't be able to do it. I'm, I, I'm too busy. There's no way I can sit there and do what they're doing. So I just go and speak and say hello and sit in the ones that I like listening to. And I don't expect them to come to my page or any of that. I just do it because I like listening to them. You say your internet's messing up. You still hear you trying your phone. Okay, sweetie. So who's on, who's Christians, who's Christians page, Miss Jan? Christian who? Is that somebody, is that YouTube or Facebook? Christian. You said that like I know who Christian is. So I'm trying to think who's Christian. Her internet. I got to wait till she come back in. Her internet messing up. Oh, I'm sorry, D-Cop. What did I say? I apologize. You, look, I'm trying to see these little bitty words on my phone. I'm sorry. D-Cop for life. Or just say D-Cop. Are you telling me just call you D-Cop? I could do decal. I'm sorry. Relationship with Jesus. Huh? I'm lost, Miss Jan. Thank you for still being here, Miss Lady. Miss Jan, I'm lost. Lost. <laughs> Are you saying you a moderator on there for real? Oh, or, or are you saying you a moderator for the Christian life? Christian page. Christian. You have to, um, that's the actual person you're saying? Or you just said Christian like. Christian in life, like your belief. Hmm. I'm glad I brought my salad home. I'm hungry again. Salad. I had a salad and some um, Olive Garden was having unlim un unlimited it was unlimited pasta. It was three kinds of pasta. I really didn't care for the pasta. I think it was because it had all the different kind of cheese in it. And I had the salad. So I was like, can I get a salad to go? Because <laughs> you know they give you the salad with your meal. 
Okay, D cop. So, um, oh, it's a ministry page. Okay, okay. Send me an invite, Miss Jan. Uh, um, go send me an invite on Facebook. I go check it out. Oh, yeah, I'm done. I'm just sitting here. I'm waiting. I got about it's 9 58. I started five minutes after seven. So I'm just waiting to get that five minutes so that it don't cut my watch hours. But I put another layer on. I'll, I'll be starting their shading tomorrow. I put another layer on everybody. But for me to run them through the oven, I will be sitting here for a couple more hours. And I need to go root. So I'll run them through the oven in the morning. But yeah, I'm done paying. We've been on. I've been on since seven. Seven. Um, seven. Uh, and I actually need to set. Take y'all back off the stick because I don't want this stick poking y'all head. So when I do this, when I do this, and um, so I'll be running all them in the oven. When I do this. If I do a layer and I'm not going to paint it till in the morning, I don't leave their heads on the stick because their heads are heavy. And if you can tell, like, well, you can't tell on this baby, but I don't leave, I just, I don't leave the head because I don't want the stick to, because it's vinyl. I don't want the weight of the head to eventually have it poking out like that. So um, I wait till they dry. If I know I'm not going to paint them, I'll, um, set them off the stick. But I think she's going to try to tilt over on me, so I'll just do this so she can't go nowhere. She kind of leaning. People do the most there too. I'm sure they do. <laughs> I sure they do. Um, yeah. There's a lot of people, a lot of people just don't have nothing else to do. You know? So a recap, you guys, we go live every day. If I'm not live, you guys will still get a video at this time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And you guys actually got a bonus video today, and I appreciate you guys coming in there chatting with me while the um, premiere was going, and... um. I got a couple more coming because I don't want no mommy to feel left out. So I'm pretty much getting all my um, pictures. I had, uh, what was I going to say? I can relate to you what you're saying. I love listening to you while I work. Your channel is enjoyable. Ah, thank you, Just Unique Dolls. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I have truly enjoyed myself watching you. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. And I screenshot that too. So um, I let my peoples know about you, DCAP. DCAP is good peoples, you guys. Like I say, very inspirational. They, they, can, re they can relate. They be over there. They be over there t talking facts, okay? I was over there last night just listening while I was rooting. <laughs> But like I say, and I found them from somebody else's channel. So like I say, I, I find people that I like listening to. I just can't do all the extra stuff that goes along with it. I just find somebody that I like listening to. And I don't expect anything in return. I don't expect anybody to come to my page. I don't expect none of that. I just found somebody that I can listen to that I like listening to. I love listening to Miss Carter. Because she, y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all got to go look at her. Well, go look at one of her, um, y'all think I'm silly. Y'all go look at one of her um, lives. She sat up here and had, okay, we got three more minutes. She sat up here. Look, this is her, okay? 
right here is nobody. No, no, no. We ain't gonna get that example. She sat up here. And uh, the, the shout out to Miss Carter. I'm about to imitate her, y'all. This is what she did, y'all. She had me rolling. Miss Jan, Miss Jan, what you you just got off the phone with unique dolls for real? What'd she say, girl? Shout out to Miss Carter. I'm not trying to copy you. I'm just telling you, they need they need to come look, they need to come check you out for real. Wow, D cop, why? Wow, that just that's just a little bit, y'all. Y'all listen. She <laughs> she had she had a whole conversation on the phone shouting out. I call it a shout out because she let you know that she knew you was in her house. She had a whole conversation with everybody that was in her chat room okay that's entertainment that's something that i can sit and listen to you get what i'm because i'm like is she really on the phone because when i first heard it y'all <laughs> when i first when i first heard it i'm like is she really on the phone did she forget that she was live this is when i first went over to her thing oh my gosh and then i start wait a minute I'm like, everybody talking about LOL, LOL. And I'm looking in the comments. I'm like, and then she said, did y'all go over to baby and kids house yet? And I'm like, oh my gosh. I just like, wow, that was some entertainment for you. It was entertainment. At the same time, she was shouting out everybody in her chat room. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, you would thought she was on the phone and forgot that she was on the phone if you wasn't paying attention. I'm telling y'all, it's called Carter Each. Check her out. Check her out, y'all. She rocks. I'm like, you want some, you need some comedy in your life. That's the place to go. And I found her from somebody else, somebody else's channel was somebody was talking about her. And I'm like, let me go over here and see what's up. <laughs> But y'all, it's some cool people on these YouTube streets, though, for real. <clears throat> Wait, I wasn't mute all that time, was I? Did y'all hear me? Uh-oh. Oh, her name, Carter's Eat. My life is Brooke. Go to my community tab. Her link is posted there. Go to my community tab. Let me spell it out for y'all. Because I can't type in it. Dang. Well, I probably could. I don't know. But I'm still learning. I don't want to get, get spam. So hold on. I'm going to give y'all the correct spelling. Let me go to it. But if you know how to get to the community tab, it's on my community tab. But for my woo-woo-woo babies... I know a lot of you guys don't know how to get to it. Um, so let me spell it out for you. And all you do is go on the YouTube search bar, type her name. She has a, um, wait, community tab. She has a black logo. Let me make sure she ain't checked. She has a black logo. You'll know if you're at the right one. She has a black logo. It has the um, the C and the E are in white. It's called Carter's E. It's C-A-R-T-E-R-S and then E-A-T. E -A -T. And just type that on your YouTube. You'll know you at the right spot if you see the black and white logo. Oh, oh, I thought I lost y'all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did y'all get it? I'm telling y'all, go check the y'all will sit there and enjoy. Go watch her past live. She has a ball. Yes, go check her out. All right, you guys. I appreciate you guys. And DCOP is very inspirational. You need an inspirational channel? Go check out DCOP. All right, you guys, thank you all for tuning in.
in my crusty lips. Gotta give my woo 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 baby hugs. <laughs> All right, until tomorrow, you guys. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Again, recap be here. Make sure you got that bell on. Click that notification button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Okay, where is... Mm. Okay. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And Miss Jan, that is... I'm going to give you that as soon as we get busy. I'll probably end up putting it on tomorrow. Um, putting it on tomorrow. And you can help. Right now, it's real peaceful. Nothing really going on. Um, it's pretty much just basically what you already do. Telling people to share. Telling people to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. You do that already. So maybe every now and then. Um, I ain't got no babies in the shop. We might need to drop my, my link to the shop. But other than that, it's pretty much what you do already, sweetie. And I appreciate you for all you do without me even asking. All right, you guys. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.